Hi, welcome to Air One Auto. This is 2012 Dodge Caravan. This uh, van have a eBay code. Uh, I think the parts solenoid or band bulb, something wrong with that, or somewhere it's a leak. So I'm gonna test right now. Uh, parts parts solenoid. If it is bad, I'm gonna replace it. So this is the parts solenoid, we need to open, so to open this, we need to take this filter housing uh, off, just simply, there's a three tab, one, two, just clip, take the clip out, and take the breathing hose out like this, and just Simply just flip this and just put on the side like this. Take the connection off. Just push this clip like this. See right here. And press in here. Press the tab to come out. See, there's a one 10 millimeter ball right there. This ball. I'm gonna take this ball out. So let me take the 10 millimeter ball right here. This one. out just simply take this pull this out and this one see this this attached with this there's a clip right there you can push like this and pull this but I don't want to do the fire with this that's why I took the ball from here and take a whole thing after that uh, just take the wiggle a little bit take this holes out sometimes it's very tight stuck if it is stuck like you pry with something like this and do little by little it's, it's coming out after that uh, there's a tab right there you see this so you need to push it in here both sides and you pu push this right there and from the other side as well right there so both at the same time then you need to pull this out. I'm gonna use this like to hold from both sides. If you don't have like just anyhow just press from the both side with the hand or anywhere. Just press this, pull it, see, it's come out easily. It's gonna come out with the with the clip like this. There was a there was a lock in here. You see both sides. That's why you need to press this. So it's coming out. Before I replace this, I'm gonna test this. It is good solenoid or it have some issue. Let me check that. The way this solenoid is work is is always closed. So when it's got a signal like it it's got a signal to open it from the computer then it's open then air air go in and in and out this way so it has to be closed so let me test it is it is closed without connection or not well i'm gonna put like uh one of this adapter for pressure, pressure tester so let me put this in here if it is hold the vacuum that's when the solenoid is good look press here like See, don't go too much. You see, it's holding the vacuum. When it releases, look. See the vacuum is holding the vacuum. When it release, check again. It's go down. That's mean this solenoid is uh, holding the pressure. I mean, uh, it's close. So we need to check now. Is 
is following the command or not let me i'm gonna put the power and ground in here so you'll hear the click in here when you do that so i'm gonna use the power probe i put the one lead in negative another lead in positive if you don't have a power probe you don't need the power probe just uh one of these things like alligator clip just put in negative another one is here just simply test two of them I test one of them like this then test another one like here let's see, see if we have a click or not let me show you with the power probe so power probe there's a negative right here so i'm gonna put a little make it easy put a little alligator clip right here so one lead another lead <coughs> so so i'm gonna supply the power look when you when i supply the power yeah i feel the click the, you hear the noise look click so this alone is uh, pretty much command the signal now we need to see the air like the vapor is going through here or not simply so i use the vacuum pump when i pump this Watch, see this? It's holding a vacuum. Now I'm releasing. Holding a vacuum again. See that? Don't put too much vacuum. Just a little bit enough. See? So now I'm gonna apply the like power in here. Now holding vacuum. Watch. I'm gonna apply power. See? Holding vacuum, apply power, going down. So that's been this solenoid is perfect good. You don't need, I don't need to really replace that. Maybe the band solenoid is bad, so I'm, I have to check that, or maybe somewhere the leak. You don't need this vacuum pump or anything. Just put some tape and with your mouth just blow in here. And somebody put the power and ground in here. Yeah. And when you really put this power and ground, you will he hear the noise, clicking noise, click, click. Uh, that's how you check, really. And just put it back where you take it off. Thank you very much, guys. So bef before you check, before you don't check, just don't replace that. So when you put it back, just. Uh, put this you see put this in here and hold one hand in the back like this and just just push it like this and that's it just push it till go and make sure you have a click like you hear the click for this one it will lock inside just hold in here one hand and just or you can do like this see and please uh, like and subscribe to get uh, new videos uh, please help the channel thank you very much